Uh, thank you for that. Uh, I'll start off with my art journey. So while I don't come from any, oh, you can move to the next slide. Yeah. All right, so while I don't come from any fine arts or like professional arts related background, I have been making art since I can remember, since I was pretty young. And I've always been pretty creatively inclined with doing uh, any art related subjects or school projects and finding that those were usually what I enjoyed the most. And similar to Jess, I kind of use that for my advantage with uh, getting better grades or working well in group or team settings. And I was actually pretty active in the art community online for a while from about 10 to 16 years old with doing digital art. And I would mainly post it on the platform even art, although I'm not sure how mainstream that is anymore. And it would mostly be fan art or sharing original characters I made. And the fan art would mainly be towards uh, like Steven Universe or Adventure Time, which I think influenced my style at the time as well. Then after that, like after 16, I had a pretty bad case of imposter syndrome. And I felt like maybe this creative journey wasn't for me. Maybe drawing isn't really my thing and that I should try pursue other types of hobbies. So throughout high school, I started focusing more on uh, musical instruments with playing the trombone in the jazz band and the orchestral band. And uh, going back to things like my science studies also. But then when I went into university, I picked up art again as a more regular hobby. And that was uh, because you get more independence and you're able to process more what you can do with your free time. And it was an opportunity for me to kind of go back to my roots and find out what I was passionate about. But when I did come back to art, and uh, the next slide, when I did come back to art, it wasn't really the same mediums anymore. And it was more towards traditional art forms. And for me, that was mostly a focus on analog collages. And I think this change for me came from uh, having a more of a sustainable lifestyle and mindset, not like there's anything wrong with digital art because I'd like to go back to it, but I was becoming a lot more conscious about all the different materials that were in my room and not knowing what to do with it. And for me, that was uh, the piling up of different kinds of papers like magazines or news clippings or brochures. And for me, I started cutting them out and using it more for scrapbook pieces or journaling. And then I realized how fun it was and started wanting to make more cohesive images. The collage process for me is uh, very non-linear and I think it varies from person to person. But I would start off with my initial feelings that would make me want to make a collage. Then I would look at different uh, boxes I have that's like filled with different scrap papers and things. And uh, I'd pour it out on the ground and sift through it and see, oh, can I make something with this? Like what looks nice? And if I think I don't have enough pieces of paper, I would go into my magazines and cut out more things. Uh, throughout this process, I would plan out different kinds of ideas with thinking about a color palette or a theme or a mood, or I'd have a certain quote or a lyric that I would keep uh, like repeating in my mind uh, that I might use later for the uh, title or something. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous at the moment. Uh, I would also have a lot of fun incorporating other kinds of materials, which would be things like ribbons or tape or band-aids or even sandpaper. And for me, uh, of course, there's the fun in being able to reduce, reuse, and recycle. But I think by incorporating other materials as well, you get the uh, you get different kinds of textures, which are great, and you can also incorporate some kind of symbolism. And then the final part, of course, is just deciding like when is a collage finished. And I think at different stages of making a collage for me, I think you actually make multiple collages. So it's fun to take pictures at the different stages. And you never really have to stop. You can continue to just make layers and layers of collages on top of each other. So in general, why do I make art? Uh, for me, it's very 
therapeutic and fun. It's something that can keep my hands busy if I'm watching something, or if I just feel bored. Uh, they're really useful for uh, expressing complex feelings and ideas, especially when you're someone that kind of struggles with talking or you overthink a bit. But when you make art, it's more of a raw piece and it's like the emotions are laid out in a way that you don't always have to explain. It's also useful for processing media, sharing what I learn and value, which I'll talk a bit more about later. And being uh, in the art community has opened me up a lot more for improving things like social skills, meeting a lot of interesting people like with OVS, and yeah, just feeling like a more well-rounded person. Then uh, why collages specifically? Uh, I like how the images are pre-made and you don't need as much artistic skills to think about what the final outcome will look like. And because I have a more of a like surreal, absurdist style, uh, having all these different images is really nice to be able to mix and match to create any kind of mood or theme that you want, especially when you do something like digital collages because you have access to like stock images where there's like an infinity amount of things that you can put together. Uh, it's also really fun uh, when I'm working traditionally, you can rip the paper, you can make the perspective look a bit wonky, you can crumple the paper or you can pour water on it and make it look wrinkled and strange and it all adds to the final look of a piece. So next I'll talk about uh, different collages that I made in the last two years. So in 2020, I wanted to feature these two, Topsy Turvy and Confession Confetti. Topsy Turvy uh, has some of the different methods that I talked about with ripping. And I really like this piece because to me, it looks a bit like uh, water rippling in a lake and you're looking at a reflection. And it started off as a full collage piece that I cut up and rearranged. Confession Confetti is a bit of a wholesome piece, kind of reflecting uh, the awkward feelings with preteen and teenage romance. And when you finally have, uh, like when you confess to someone and those feelings are reciprocated, you get this like bursting release of all the nerves and butterflies coming out of you. Uh, so then 2021, uh, I think, this year is when I started to be more focused on sharing specific kinds of themes. So one of that would be uh, like mental health and personal experiences and also uh, environmentalism. So scopophobia is a pretty personal piece to me because that reflects a lot of my own uh, personal anxiety that I go through and how, uh, how it is overcoming that at times and the feeling of like having, being uh, scrutinized a lot and like people are watching you all the time. And yeah, that's how that's reflected in a visual way. And sometimes the feelings aren't that easy to say out loud. For Panacea, this one is more of a cynical piece and it's criticizing uh, the mindset of a lot of trans corporations today. This idea of an out of sight, out of mind, and that issue to me, I think is quite uh, disgusting. <laughs> like not to be too cruel about it, but yeah, I find that mindset pretty gross because we are living in a world with limited resources, we're in a limited space and you can't just put things away from you and expect it to solve itself. And this one to me, uh, I think it's a bit self-explanatory with the different images the landfills, uh, deforestation, burning for agricultural space. And then uh, also the idea of like a one set track, uh, especially with something like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll finish up then. So that, uh, yeah, so this is my last slide, inspiration. Uh, it would come from things like surrealism, absurdism, music, shows, movies, nature, uh, current events, 
and personal experiences, and then of course from my friends and other artists. And yeah, that's all from me. I hope to answer some questions later.